All right, so today we're gonna be pairing the Black Series dimmer switch uh, on SmartThings with the new app. So, real simple, we're gonna open up the app and then click on the plus button, the top right. Click on device. And then as of today, I think it's the 26th of February, 2020, we're actually not uh, works with SmartThings certified. So you're, we're gonna have to add it as a generic Z-Wave device, which no problem, it'll still do the same thing as if it were certified. So go ahead and click the search button, type in Z-Wave, select it. And then you're gonna select generic Z-Wave device. And we'll get ready to start up. So get started with your G generic Z-Wave device. Go ahead and click start. Select what hub you want to pair it to, and then also what room that you'd like the switch to be in. So we'll just leave it the same for now. Click next. And then now it's actually initializing the pairing sequence. So go ahead and press this configuration button three times. One, two, three. And you'll notice that the LED bar uh, pulses blue. Uh, that means that it's actually in pairing mode. And when it turns green, it means that it's successful. If it turns red, then it means it's unsuccessful. So as you can see, it turned green. So now we'll wait for the actual app to recognize that the switch is paired. So this sometimes takes 10, 15 seconds, honestly. So uh, we'll wait for it. And if it doesn't ever show up uh, on this screen, which luckily it just did, but if it didn't, uh, you can just exit out of the app and then uh, open it back up. So the important thing is that the LED bar turns green. All right, so uh, just go ahead and ignore this um, security features not supported. Uh, we do have the latest in uh, Z-Wave encryption, so uh, I'm honestly not sure what this means, but go ahead and and exit it. So uh, this will show up without a device handler. If you, if you did not install the device handler, this will show up as a secure dimmer. So go ahead and click done. And then you'll notice it just popped up under where we, uh, the room that we, we told it to, so the office. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And then we can test it out. We can press on and hopefully it will turn on remotely. So sometimes it takes a little bit to initialize. So there you have it. So it comes on to 100%. Uh, if you want to turn it off, just go ahead and press the off button. And then uh, if you ever want to rename it to something else, you just hit the three dots at the top, hit edit, and then just rename it to whatever you want. So uh, we'll call it in Valley Office Dimmer. Save. And that's that. That's how you uh, pair your Innovelli Black Series Dimmer.